garage in Van Nuys. A band is preparing for a European tour, rehearsing some of the most original music this side of Venus. This man's music. He's been called the father of the new wave, one of the most important American composers of the last 50 years, a primitive genius. Don't know who he is? You're not alone. In 15 years, he's never really had a hit record. He lives reclusively in a trailer somewhere in the Mojave Desert. His name is Don Van Vliet, and he dedicates his music to animals and children. The world knows him as Captain Beefheart. Ah, now there's a woman's got a horror and hit a man to make him know she's a... Back in 1956. 56. Yeah, oh, that was a good year. Do you remember? Do you remember? That? I remember that very well. It was in high school. That was a good one. Yeah, what did I never went to either? school. Ever. 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 Even kindergarten. Are you serious? That's no occurred. education at all. None. No. Why not? Aren't kids you supposed wanna, to go to school? They're supposed to. But but uh, if you want to, I'm still a kid. You say I didn't go to school. I'm still a kid. If we you want to be a different fish, you got to jump out of the school. I think that Beefheart's way of approaching words, of approaching sounds, of approaching instruments is very much that of a child at play. At a very young age, he decided, in effect, not to grow up. So he has this kind of diffuse, undifferentiated consciousness that children have, that mystics have, that great artists have. Contemporary American listeners have gotten used to a steady beat, a regular chord changes, a sweet melody. Uh, what Beefheart tries to do is to shake us out of that. Done. Rock and roll is a fixation that boom, 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 mama heartbeat. I don't like hypnotics. You say, I mean, I'm doing a, a non-hypnotic music to break up the catatonic state. And, and I think there is one right now. They brought me down here, and as soon as the car door opened, I ran out, you know, to go down and see an actual dinosaur. Maybe a, a, a dire wolf or a saber-toothed tiger, even, if I could get it on the way down. I want to actually see one, and I try to go in there. This is the big dig, and it gives uh, Los Angeles a lot of credence. How do you teach these musicians to play your music? Whip. No, I mean uh, a kind quip. No, a kind. Uh, well, how? You know, a tape. You know, with the piano, a, a tape, and it's very hard work. And they probably all leave after I say this, but they don't get enough money. What if they ad lib musically? What if they want to put in a little bit of their own? Ouch! <laughs> See, it's you. Me. <laughs> I'm an only child. I'm a tyrant. You're a irascible. What groups like the B-52s, Blondie, Public Image Limited, and others have taken from Captain Beefheart is a very specific way of playing the guitars, playing drums, and structuring melodies. They're taking your music, incorporating your music into their ideas, and it's making them a lot of money. And they ought to give me some of that That's money. That's right. And they should give me some of that money. Now, everybody that you mention, I want my money. <laughs> pay, pay, pay. No, pay, 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 pay. In plain view, it's Captain Beefheart. Captain, don't you want to make money? Sure. Then why don't you go commercial? I think either I'm too smart or too dumb. I don't know which. Well, maybe the captain did go commercial. 
sort of, in his 1971 TV spot he wrote and directed, but it was banned by a local station. New on reprise, it's Lick My Decals Off Baby. Lick My Decals Off Baby? What I meant was get rid of the label's coming children. <laughs> You've mentioned ecology, you've mentioned animals, you've mentioned the music, you've mentioned what's really important to you right now. What's the most important thing to you? My wife, uh, uh, definitely, uh, definitely. That is the most important thing to me. Sorry, girls. <laughs> Take it. <laughs> I don't like music, I like to do spells. Because music is just black ants crawling across white paper. 